Hello there, my beautiful Aqua. How are you? Aqua, how are you doing, guys? I hope you're doing okay. I know it's been a minute. It looks like I've been off tangent. Um, I decided to take a break. Uh, Spirit wanted me to because, you know, I think they understood my energy wasn't, you know, in the right place. And um, I don't want to be doing readings and picking up other people's energy and picking up my energy and, you know, telling you things that are happening in my life. So um, I had a, a, a approved vacation or should I say staycation or breakation that Spirit approved for me to like, you know, you know, put the readings on hold. But I guess we're back on track. Aqua. Now, please remember to like the video, support the channel. Please remember to share with your loved ones. Do the needful on this channel so that I'm picking up your energy. Um, check the description box below the video for anything, how you can support. If you want a reading, I'm available. If any, you know, like, let me know. Okay. All right. So, guys, so much has happened. I don't know why I'm saying that, but maybe some of you are going through so something that you feel like so much has happened. Oh, wow. Okay. It's hostilities. Is that the energy that is coming through for my aqua? So this is the, wow, overarching energy that I'm picking up for you guys, Aquarius. Um, It talks about conflicts, conflict and unrest. All right. So uh, some of you, uh, some of you dealing with, um, Situations where you feel like you've been at odds with people, it like is a conflict. I'm hearing conflict of interest also. Conflict of interest, all right. A situation where it looks like you know it was a hostile situation, like somebody had to bite, <laughs> like and somebody had to remain calm in a situation, like there's some be some kind of conflict. And this is number 31, which is a, a four. Four is a number of like when it comes to something that has to do with your stability in life, your foundation, even planning or something. Structure. Four is like the, the four legs of a chair. Um, so obviously it looks like there's been some kind of conflict or uneasiness or some kind of um, upheaval, shaking or something that has to do with your stability, your foundation. Like it's been hostile. That's how you feel. Like somebody's had to be on the defensive about decision that they've made or decision that they are making or something and having to stand their ground because i'm looking at this woman and she has this um i don't know what this is is it a um a black panther it looks like a black panther right it's like you know so she's defending herself and the black panther looks like it's ready to chop off somebody to bite you know what i mean so anyway when this card comes through it's telling you to not shy away from conflict or unrest and telling that you deserve to act on your own behalf and for you to be brave in the face of confrontation and know that you're capable of, you know, seeing it through to the other side. It tells you right here with this card that you have the fierce determination and strength of the panther within you. And the light of the divine assistance is always at hand to help you on your journey. With got into whatever situation, whatever happens in your life, okay? Um, so it's just saying to me that uh, there may be a person or a situation in your life that has become abrasive or was abrasive or is going to be abrasive or upsetting in some way or perhaps something coming in the near future that might make you feel defensive. Either way, what this guy is telling you is that you know, you need to gather your resources and turn to the guidance of your own divine light and courage. You have it inside of you. You can make things happen for yourself. Become more conscious of the people or situations that are taking your energy um, or, you know, or that sense of power that you feel like you have. Don't let any situation drain you to a point where you feel helpless, Aquarius. All right. So this might be family members, it might be a relationship that you're in, it might be a co-worker, it could be anything or even a draining obligation that has taken a toll on you. All right. Even if it's no longer in your life, but it looks like maybe it's gone on for a while and finally time for you to choose to protect yourself and your own energy. So the choice may cause other people to be very upset or even hostile towards you, maybe choices that you've made you know choosing to do things your own way that may have may have caused some kind of upheaval imbalance you may be tempted to you know diffuse the conflict by giving in 
But that, you know, old or healthy pattern must be resisted. You don't have to give in to the habits of fear anymore. So one affirmation that you can say whenever this card comes up is, I am strong and resourceful in any situation. I believe in myself and in the ability to take charge. Aquarius, it's time for you to take charge. So this reading will resonate if you're Aquarius sun sign or your Aquarius moon, or your Aquarius ascendant, Aquarius Venus, or Aquarius North node. Okay? Those are the energies that I'm tapping into at this moment. Okay? But it could also resonate for other placements, like uh, maybe Saturn, Aquarius, or um, Jupiter, in Aqu you know, Aquarius, or whatever it is. Okay? All right. So, but it looks like you've been dealing with something that you know looks like it's hostile. Aquarius. Let's see what other energy we're going to be picking up for you guys. All right. This just came out. Wow. You've been dealing with a situation that looks like it's been burdensome. All right. But definitely this is a number 10. It's a 10 of wands. And it talks about completion, end of a cycle. It talks about transformation. Um, okay. It talks about something ending for something new to start in your life. So whatever the situation is has come to an end. It's something that needed to happen in your energy, Aquarius. It needed to happen exactly the way it did to bring a cycle to a close in your life. <laughs> okay. It was meant to happen to bring a cycle to a close, Aquarius. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So, it's a 10. 10 is about completion, like I said, the end of a cycle. And then, of course, you have the Queen of Wands. You have the Queen of Cups. You're all Queen after this has happened. And then you have the 10 here. The 10, 10 is completion, total done. 10 is like, after the 10 of, the heavy, burdensome situation, the 10 of Cups is like your family, perfect life. It's coming, all right? But of course, you're now in charge. You're in the high priestess mode. You're in your power. You know, nobody, nobody can stop you. Nobody can run you off. Nobody can control you. It's like you're standing in your power. You've gone through whatever this is. You've, you know, you've learned all your lessons. You are okay to move on. There is a, a new beginning because right after the 10 comes the 1. Remember, 1 plus 0 in 10 equals to a 1, right? So, 1 is the number of new beginnings. Opportunity is like, you know, something creative, something beautiful that you're starting afresh. It's a number of newness, new insights, new realizations, new friendship, new romance, new project, new job, new home, new idea, new whatever, okay? It's 1 coming after the 10. Now... The Ten of Wands, guys, is the overextending, overburdened, struggling, I don't know if I can do this. It's all burdens, okay? So this is coming to an end. Where it feels like you've been facing hostilities from people or situation or, you know, situationship. Um, and then, of course, the Ten of Cups, which I said earlier on, it talks about your home, but it's about affluence, about something that is permanent in your life. It's it's also about convention, all right? It's about wisdom. It's about um, it's about contentment, family, joy, you know, contentment. And then, like I said, you have the two queens. You are now the two queens and the high priestess. Now, this is not gender specific. It could be you could be a man. It doesn't matter, all right? But you, you you are now the queen of cups, which means after whatever this is, your your um, sensitivity is on fleek, all right? As the queen of cups, you're all about love and health. You care for other people. You're nurturing, but you can be shy and reserved. But, you know, um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're now in control of your emotion. You're no longer emotionally vulnerable to, you know, harsh situations in your life, right? You're, you're no longer overwhelmed. The Queen of Cups is in control of her emotion. She has it in check. She knows what she wants. She goes ex for exactly what makes her happy, what she wants, okay? So you're standing in your power now. And then you're also appearing as a Queen of Wands, which is all about creative energy. It's all about Passion is all about bossiness. Is now you're stepping into your power as a boss. Um, the Queen of Wands is warm. She's kind. She's um, she loves 
beauty, art, she's in control, she's the center of attraction, you know, in a room, she attracts the att attention because she's got the intellect, she's got the beauty, she's got the experience, she's got everything that she needs to keep moving, all right? Things to, you know, initiate and complete new projects, new careers, new moves, new things, new situations. She is the boss mentality, boss type of woman, okay? And she's all about her creativity. And now, time for you to ignite that uh, aspect of your life. Now, you're also standing not only as a queen of cups and the queen of wands, but you are the high priestess. That is magnificent, all right? You're all about your intuition. You're all about divine truth. You're all about sensitivity, all right, you're honing in to your power, to your power of intuition. Nothing is facing you anymore. Whatever this is that has happened to you, you know about it. All right, you have the knowledge, you have the understanding of what it is, why it happened, and you're moving on. You're stronger, you're better. All right, you're all about you know unconscious awareness. All right, you 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 now have all that potential for creativity. All right, and that mystery of manifestation that you have in your energy as it is right now. Okay, your intuition and your instinct is on fleek at the moment. Okay, and you're standing in your power as the high priestess. Yay! Okay, you're all about your psychic abilities, you're listening to it, and you're paying attention to it, and you're getting your guidance from it. The high priestess is also, you know, associated with the moon energy. It's all about feelings and expressions of emotions. Um, it's also about keeping things to yourself, not telling people what you're doing. You're cooking something, you don't have to announce to the world. Uh, people don't need to know your business, okay? You can keep your business to yourself. Whoa, okay awesome awesome energy now aquarius let's see what else holy spirit what other messages do we need to give to aquarius with regarding to whatever they are dealing with or they will be dealing with this month and the month like i always say will start whenever you come across the video and click play all right it doesn't matter when i uploaded it all right some of you you know might be feeling lonely at this time or needing to isolate yourself or may have gone within or needing to go within with regards to this, whatever situation this is. Or some of you have gone within and received your enlightenment. Okay? Like if we got the high priestess, there's something that you now know. All right? And spirit is like believe so that you can succeed. Believe in yourself. Believe in your ability, your capability, your strength, your power, and you will succeed. Okay, and this is the six coming right after the five. So it just tells me it's a growth. All right. So, of course, you do have new vitality here also. Okay, new. You have number one, which is a number of new beginnings. It's a number of vitality, the number, you know, a number of uh, opportunity, a, n a number of um, creativity, starting something afresh. It's the potential that you now have. Okay, after this going within and maybe after loss or after conflict or change or now rebuilding this number five is all about that now it's time for you to you know rebuild but look at that six comes right after that six is is the number of problem solving it's about compassion harmony it's you getting back into harmony you getting back into your power into your creative energy and being able to harness whatever this experience is for you and turn it around for good all right okay awesome awesome aquarius Awesome, awesome. All right. Do we have a daily affirmation for my Aquarius collective? Okay, I think you guys have a couple that came out. And we will take both of them. So there's something here that says, I honor my time and energy by making smart choices that leave me feeling good about myself. So this may have something to do with choices that you've made in the past, something that you did not pan out the way you wanted it, you know, something that has caused you some kind of mental trauma or something, something that now is like you know better, all right? And you're going to start honoring your time and your energy and you're going to start making smart choices. So this is an affirmation you can say every day, okay? Now you do have an easily release clutter from my life for good. So some of you are also, I think, I feel in the energy of decluttering, energy of clearing out your secret space in, you know, just 
getting light because with the fool's energy the new beginning will come in and then it's like all oh, you have to be light okay so it's like you're letting go of baggage and just you know starting afresh awesome all right aquarius i hope this was helpful thank you so much for your love and support as always i love you guys um this is awesome awesome energy all right i think you guys have a good prospect for the month ahead okay all right until next time i hope to start going steady please check the description box below for additional information about booking your reading whatever you need to do to support your girl it's right there okay as well as how to calculate your life path number in case you want to watch the life path number readings and that's in case all these readings are not resonating for you i always say exchange your energy with me so that i can pick it up if i don't it just means you're not a part of my soul tribe and i'm not a part of yours and i'm sure there are other people other readers that are meant to be your reader okay so um for those of you who i am your reader thank you so much for all the love and continued support on my channel this is healing hands until next time it's bye bye